Insert door in. What's up, guys? It's Space Cookie. You can email me at arcade player one. That is the number one at yahoo.com for any questions or comments or anything you just want to talk about. I'm going to do something a little different. Uh, something I've been wanting. Two things I've actually been wanting to do for uh, for some time now, but haven't got around to doing it. The first thing I want to do is I want to show you guys something uh, that I bought sometime in um, 1998, and it was my first MP3 player. Uh, it's when MP3s were just becoming popular, the popular format. I remember it as clear as day. Um, I remember the first time I downloaded an MP3, I was blown away. Not only because the file size was small, and it still took me a while to download, but the file size was small, and the quality for such a small file size was amazing. I was blown away. So after finding websites that had MP3 songs, I was just downloading anything and everything. I needed something to play them on. So I bought this. Some of you probably remember it. Some of you probably don't. I mean, mind you, this was what, 11, 12 years ago? Um, yeah, 12 years ago. Um, it is the Rio, uh, it's made by Diamond, and they call it the Rio PMP 300, I think it is, yeah, the 300. It ran on one AA battery, which was here, and also the storage, uh, uh, the uh, this here, I guess, they said broke very easily, and I never had it break on, I'm sorry, um, this is where the battery goes, um, Never broke on me. Never broke. It's all corroded and rusted, uh, but it still works. It definitely still works. So yeah, you get one double A in there, and then um, they used to, now, now it breaks now. Um, what they used to use they call smart media. It was like a memory card. It went in right here on the bottom. Uh, this shipped with six. Uh, I'm sorry, 32 megs, 32 megabytes. Um, you have your headphone jack. You have your menu, you have your equalizer presets, and you have your intro. I don't really remember what intro did, um, but yeah. And then you have your hold on the side. You have your hold. So that way if it's up, some of you don't know what hold is, uh, you can't press any buttons and mess with anything so if you jam it in your pocket. And then there's were this crazy, uh, I don't even remember if it was USB cable. I think it was like a serial cable or something that plugged in. Uh, and that's how you transferred your, uh, your music. Um, your play button, pause, stop, uh, fast forward, rewind, and skip and forward, and then you have your volume up, your volume down, um, your random, repeat, your A and B, so you know what A and B is, so let's say you hear a part of a song, boom, 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 dun, well, right when that starts, you can hit A, boom, 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 dun, and you can hit B again real quick, and you'll just keep getting boom, 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 dun, boom, 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 dun, boom, 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 dun, so you get the idea. Uh, it displayed the track, um... Uh, um, I think the title of the song, uh, the uh, kilobytes per second that it was playing at, it held, I think I was able to cram 12 or 13 songs on there. Uh, the songs were, uh, I think some of them might have been 128, but I think some of them were 256 or 196. And the sound was just amazing. Just absolutely phenomenal. Um, so yeah, I still have it. It still works. It's kind of dinged up because it's been in stored and it's been moved around so many times. Um, it's got some dents here and it's like i said it's got corrosion in there but it still works i tested it out not that long ago it still works and uh it's you know it's a, it's about the size of a deck of cards um let me see if i can show you something that uh compares to the size let me get a let me get a bottle here here's a here's a bottle it's it's about the size of a deck of cards and it's not too heavy with the with the battery in it it makes it a little heavier, but it's really not heavy at all. But yeah, this thing was just amazing for its time, and, and I'd never heard anything so crystal clear. In fact, I remember looking at the instructions because I was curious, because I wanted to know what the total harmonic distortion was on it, and it was like 0 0.01 or negative 0 0.01. I don't remember what it was, but I know it was negative, and it was so just crystal clear sound. It was just amazing. So uh, that's that. I uh, just wanted to show you guys that. And then the other thing I wanted to talk about was, uh, as you saw in the bottle of water, I am a water drinker slash juice. Um, most of the time when I drink juice, I dilute it with water. Um, 
I, I used to drink sodas and all that crap years ago, but I stopped just because they're not healthy for you. But uh, a couple months ago, when Pepsi released the throwback stuff, I don't know if anybody got around to trying this or not, but I thought I would take a chance and just try a Pepsi throwback. And I did. And here's the here's the bottle in case some of you haven't, no, the can in case you didn't see it. I also had a couple of the bottles, and I was lucky enough, uh, like a month ago, uh, Carrie found uh, a 12-pack for me and I still have a few left I drink them on special like nights that we have big steaks I put one of these in the in the freezer and get it really cold um, but I don't drink them even so I don't even drink them that often maybe I'll skip a few you know when we have really good dinners I'll skip a few because just I don't know they don't they don't sit well with me but I have to say that I even wrote a letter to Pepsi saying please don't get rid of these and why are you getting rid of them um, they don't have all the uh, added crap in it like all the uh, all the uh, drinks do today even the Pepsi's do today all the extra fructose corn syrup and all that crap and uh, just artificial sugar or whatever it is they use well the taste of this I mean I tasted it and I was like oh my god the taste is so much better uh, than what Pepsi tastes like now um, like I said I mean I used to drink a lot of soda a long time ago um, but not so much anymore. But this is just, just I was just like, wow, this tastes amazing. So I don't know if anybody got around to trying this. Um, just curious, and what your thoughts are on it. But uh, like I said, I'm not a big uh, soda drinker. But this was, uh, this was really good. I really liked it, and I wish they would uh, continue to sell it. So when I do, uh, when I do uh, want one, they'll be available. And no, I did not try the Mountain Dew. I really not a big Mountain Dew fan and I really could have cared less about the Mountain Dew it's just the Pepsi that I wanted to try so that's it and uh, as usual I thank you guys for watching and that is that talk to you later bye